Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Lindsay. I'm Carson. And today we are watching The Promised Neverland Season 2, Episode 4. What happened last time? Last time a phone was ringing in this too-good-to-be-true base of operations. Apparently there's some changes from the manga. We don't know anything about that. Emma answered the phone. There was also some help and some like scratch marks and crazy shit in a bunk room. Uh, yeah. In the back, yeah. Ready to see what happens next. They also have a radio, and they also we also we learned a little bit more about the sort of radical demons. Yeah. And of, about, yeah. Uh, they won't eat humans until they breed in the wild, and then it's fair game. Exactly. So that was some interesting stuff last episode, and now we're going to get into it right after I tell you that this is not a market substitute for Promise Neverland. Please go and watch this on your own before coming here to watch our reaction and our review. That's our content. We're not trying to steal uh, content from the show. We are providing our own content. Also, we would ask you, uh, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and stick around for future stuff. And with that, let's get into The Promise Neverland Season 2, Episode 4. I really like this song. And the whole opening, actually. I really want to know what that one shot is where she's like going like this and there's blood pouring out of her hands. Yeah. I wonder if it's some kind of like magic. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? Confirmed. ハウスに戻ったよ。昼たちを連れ出そう。ハウスの他の子も全員ここに連れてきて、みんなで人間の世界を目指す。Oh <笑> I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I mean, it's very nice, but <laughs> I don't know for how long. Yeah, and like... The, the nice music and like the montage of all this nice stuff like they're gonna hear something on the radio that's gonna change change something yes yeah. so they're gonna like hear this, that Norman's alive this is the calm before the storm <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I trust you, children. Yeah, I, I just don't know if it's, it's a good a, idea. I don't know it's if it's a good idea for, like, so many people to be going into the forest, because as yeah. soon as you go in there, it's dangerous. And the more people there are, the, s the more easily scared the prey is. You should head back right now. <laughs> you don't know if it's okay to eat. 
They're like land fish. <laughs> Goey? Yeah, I don't... It, they seem like they might not be a good thing to eat, I, but I can't tell. The fact that they're all just sitting there, it seems like their defense mechanism has to do with that... With the slime. With the slime. And, I mean, it could just be that they're slippery, but predators have claws. Yeah. <laughs> or, I guess that's their defense mechanism, is they're really difficult to fucking catch. Well, that's what I was saying, but, like, if you had, like... <laughs> yeah. There's oh my so god, many. they killed a shitload. Good luck. Oh my god, they drew straws. Drew lots. Moody, moody, moody. There's so many of them. Did you see there was like packs There's of them. like three piles. Why wouldn't you like get one? Like you. Uh. <laughs> 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 Gooey. <laughs> oh god. Why? There's no reason. Oh god. This also seems like the kind of thing that it probably tastes like shit. <laughs> Just in a little bowl. Just gotta wait there. Ten minutes have passed. This is the kind of thing that you need to like wait like maybe like a twenty four hour period or something. Yeah, you need to wait longer. They just want to eat more. It was tasty as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Careful! Oh my god! Imagine if they all just die. Imagine if they straight up all die. They're all gonna here. be like shitting their pants in like two hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Grandmama. Cages. I think that's where the the future mamas are. Isabella. Yeah. <sighs> Oh no. Fuck. She's got to get a hold of a radio somehow and get get it out there. Shouldn't someone always be watching that? I know. Run. You have to run. You have to go in that, like, underground tunnel. What the hell? They have a fucking SWAT team, but they're people. Yeah. They didn't even send... Are they a rescue team from the human world? They wouldn't send people no. with guns and shit. They would send it, demons. No. But this has to be bad. Either way, they're not coming in here. Maybe it took a while for them to infiltrate their fucking spec ops team. Oh, they infiltrated it's into warm. the other country. I don't... I think it's they something are... that demons literally can't go out of the forest. I don't think so. I don't think these are with them. You guys need to, like, actually Smother the go light. out. Yes! Oh, she's counting. Who's missing? Who's missing? The, those two are the still two. in the room. No, they are. They're right there. No, they're not. Oh, they're right yeah, there. them. I thought you were talking about the two little kids. I thought you were talking about Toma and Lanny. <laughs> Fuck, they're straight up going to kill her right now. There's no escape.
逃げ切りますね。あの子たち。やはり特別な。<laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh, maybe they crossed the border already. Ah. They, maybe they were expecting demons because they already crossed into their territory. I don't think so. I, I still think that they're from the farm because the farm people were talking about that they were going to catch them. I think that's a fake out. <laughs> yeah, they've been like cruising around down there for a while. <gasps> You're right. Fuck. How? <laughs> Is the third fucking stormtrooper? <laughs> well, he he's not really supposed to be killing them. They want to get get them all back. Then why do they have guns? I mean, guns are pretty scary. Back in the forest. Sucks. <laughs> what the fuck? Run! Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh god, is this where one of them dies? We've been so lucky with none of them die. Oh. Oh my god. Is Ray gonna die here? At the same time as his mom? Really? What? No, they I won't. I mean... Let me tell her, they'll let Ray go too? That's what they But he's said. a special score. Oh my god, really? If she's being real here, this is That doesn't dog make shit. any sense. But I I wouldn't trust her to be being real there. But it just kind of ruins her entire character arc. Yeah. You know? If she's willing to just go back to the other side that she like like she let them go for a reason. It's because she realized that she was wrong. So either she's lying or like I don't know. Yeah, or it's or it's tr or it's trash writing unless they come up because it doesn't make any sense if she if she's like working with them. If she again. just straight up goes back to working with that would them be fucking just, dumb. just to save herself. That like completely negates much. all of the character of development that she's had. Yeah. Unless she is lying. Yeah, but that's the, the only but the way. But the problem is that that to me means it's the only reasonable conclusion. But what's the problem? Like the problem is is if the, they can't really send her out there per se like they have control over killing her at any moment. Um, yeah. W with the thing in her heart. And just the fact that they could hunt her down and kill her. So. The only reason I thought that um, those guys were not. So you're right. They mu There must be a thing where the demons can't leave the forest. Yeah. Um, or, or like go into, go into the plains or something. But. Because it's. Uh, it, yeah. The only reason I thought. It just seemed the way that they were acting. 
it didn't seem like they were sent by them. And the way that, like, when the guy opened and he seemed kind of surprised, like he wasn't expecting I mean, to find he them. he might have never, like, really seen children in a while. Like He's a, he's know, a but, human know, person. When, he's been a child. Okay, but here's the thing. When's the last time he would have come into, like, like, the other humans don't really go into the farms. Seemingly ever. Unless they're a mom. And, Still, if a, if, and if a kid, if, okay, if that doesn't make any if you're coming in here and you're anticipating that the kids are going to be scared of you and then one of them is like up in your face screaming. It's just the way they hit those beats. It was just the timing of it seemed like he gave, he hesitated and gave them enough time to like, cause I mean, it's cause yeah. it, he like gave a gasp, like he was surprised. And then he, they like, it, it took so long. It felt like there was like five seconds between him just opening the door and then them actually hitting him and running out. You know, yeah. like it seemed like there was too long and maybe it was just a pacing thing. But at the same time, like he's also a human. So like, I don't know, like it, it could be like a caught off guard and like you don't want to shoot a kid in the head. Yeah, but it, like it also it just doesn't like it just seems weird to me that they have guns at all anyway, you know? I mean, I get, yeah. Doesn't that seem weird? Like, if they, if they, or, like, guns like that, like, full-on submachine guns, not, like, tasers or, like, futuristic weapons, they just have human technology that yeah. was developed. Like, it just but seems, I mean, I, like, from, from the logic that we've been given, the last thousand years have been completely different. The MP5, which is a real gun that they had, like, it just, for the amount of, like, concrete logic that they've put into like all the technology and the development of the world and everything and all the animals and the flora and fauna and stuff like that to have a obviously German submachine gun that is, that was developed. I forget when in the, I want to say sixties, I could be wrong. Um, like in the 1960s and, uh, 960 years after this pact was made with the demons in this alternate history world to have such an obviously real life, real world human thing in this alternate history world is kind of weird. And maybe that's like, maybe that seems like a nitpicky thing, but to me, it's just like they put, there's so much it like logic and like, um, focus being put on how different things are and like how different, uh, sort of the world has developed that to have, that specific thing on the, uh, being like, if it was manufactured, that's why I thought it was like, Oh, these are the human side coming in because it wouldn't make sense for the demon side to develop these obviously human, uh, inventions specifically for humans and then use, have them, you have the equip your, your agents with them, send them into the bunker and, uh, have them, uh, like, you know, like on a, on a mission where they're supposed to retrieve them rather than having some like interesting, different mm -hmm. alien technology you have weapons that are trained to kill and obviously there's real danger out there so that's part of the reason why they had them but uh it just, it just it's just a really weird thing to me and it's also weird to me that they're taking the direction of mom is seemingly going turning back to going evil back again. to evil again which it seems like it was fully resolved in the most like satisfying way and they're just going back because they want to have that like revenge thing but they already tied it up so well that to unravel it and go ex go back to where we were just seems really yeah. cheap and kind of dumb. So I'm hoping that that's just a front so that she can get out and uh, get in contact with them, see them again, possibly give them some sort of help sacrifice herself or something to help them get further. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hoping. If it's not that, if she really is just turning to evil, that's really fucking stupid. And, uh, it's, I, I, I feel can... like it's weird either way. Cause I feel like we already went through that arc and they're just making that, arc, like they're just like making yeah. her the like secret villain, but like round yeah, two. They're, they're kind of milking her character a little bit more than it's worth. I think, but and unless I there's something else yeah. that they're gonna unless, pull with um, it. Yeah, unless there's something different. So I'm not like completely discounting it yet. Yeah, but it, it could does, be cool. It does seem like a definitely a specific choice that could either go really well or not so well. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's and questionable. Have to do it right. It's questionable to bring it back, bring her back at all, rather than just killing her right there. I feel like that would have been more like having her drop a little bit of knowledge or a little bit or like a triumphant something. And just kill her there. That would have been more satisfying than bringing her back. Mm -hmm. Like if the, if if the worst case scenario is if they're bringing her back just to be this the the double agent again to fight for her own freedom. That would be so dumb. I can't imagine uh, a world where that could work out well. At least work out well narratively. It yeah. just seems really cheap to bring back. 
but I have enough faith that they're not doing that. Um, but what worries me is that it's so obvious that they're not going to do that. Then they might actually be doing. Like, yeah, I can't. You know, it's so, yeah, it's such. I, it, it's like I'm, I have so much faith, and it, the, like it's so absurd that she would just go back on on like the decision she made and the and the sort of char- the really poignant and cool character progression that she had to just she, go back on that seems so dumb, especially for how yeah. well written the first season was of this show. Especially her character yeah. was so, so interesting. Of 100%. like the being the kid trying to escape, realizing it's hopeless and then doing the best that she can to survive and make a genuinely good life for these children. Yeah. And then letting them go because they did what she couldn't. Yeah. And, and for everyone who's going to comment, enough. like, I know this sound, like, if you're, like, if you are a diehard for the show, you might, this might sound like we're just shitting on it and, like, making up, um, like, making our minds up about, about stuff that's going to happen without actually giving a chance to watch it. That's not what we're saying. We're, we're still super invested. It's just that the, the things that they're doing are, can lead to, can lead down the wrong road. Mm-hmm. It just seems like they're setting themselves up possibly for failure or for a cool reveal also, that we're not expecting. Also, like, we know that they've kind of gone in a different direction than yeah. the source material. I don't know how, like, and I, we're not going to be looking at the comments because people are were getting spoilery last time, so we won't know for sure, but, like, it, it is possible that that could also be a change. Yeah. I'm just expecting us for me for me when I'm just like, that seems dumb for everyone to just dislike the shit out of yeah. us. No, we're, but, we don't actually think it's dumb. We're just... It's a definitely not a choice that I would have expected them to bring her back. I'm okay with bringing her back. It's just, it's just, there's, I, 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 I will be incredibly disappointed unless there's like, it, cause yeah, you're right. They kind of had that arc where she like helped them in that la- in that critical last moment, instead of going for Emma in that last moment, she l- literally let them go because she realized the error of her ways or that there was another way that surviving and even if it wasn't for her yeah that little um, bit of like that haunting little bit of thing of like that child childish spirit in the back of her head that told her that she could escape and like having gone through the last 20 years having completely given it up given up uh leslie and all the people she grew up with and and just going through the horror of knowing everything having ray and then nearly having to give him up give up a, a newer version of yourself who's just better than you and is more optimistic and hopeful and cares about things in a similar way that you did. And then uh, Norman, who is like Leslie, who you just gave up to the dogs. Mm-hmm. Like, all of this stuff coming together and she, like, we went through that and she realized that there was another way and she just let it go. And that was super satisfying. That was incredible. Yeah. For them to just bring her back and basically do the same thing where she's going to sacrifice herself to save them is okay, but we already kind of did that Two, If, if it is just what she's saying and now she's going to be like the super soldier running through the forest, like (laughs) fucking chasing them down with crazy armor or something in a, in another, um, Vietnam era gun, or I guess like that wasn't Vietnam era or like some, Um, something, some weird, uh, you know, technology choice. I don't know. It's just like, they're really skirting the line where things are going to start getting weird if they, if they, Mm -hmm. if they don't. But that's the other thing is I have the faith that they, that they will. Yeah. The other thing is, is that we are pretty, pretty convinced that Norman is still alive somewhere. So like the way that he's going to somehow get back in the story, I'm like, like, what if she, I was just thinking about this. What if she said like, oh yeah, to get them back, I just need that other kid. Mm. And then she fucking, like, went out there and was, like, like, they, she, like, staged this really dramatic thing where she, like, snuck in and, like, stole Norman out and they escaped together and then Norman totally believed her. Yeah. So then they totally believed her and Norman or, like, something, you know? And then she was, like, I found this awesome plan. We're gonna go and get Phil. And then they all come back. Yeah. Or something like that. That's actually interesting. That that would be potentially interesting if she like used Norman in that way. I just hope Norman isn't like psychologically fucked with or something, or like permanently damaged. Yeah, but I mean, cause he, but he, yeah, I don't like I don't know where he is. We didn't see him in any of those jail cells. But he's definitely not fucking dead. He's I know not that dead for sure. They didn't kill Norman. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. I don't know where. I don't know where he is. 
I don't know. I don't know. It seems weird. And there's been, like, nothing to report on the... Everything's been normal when they've been listening to the radio. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing really going on. But they could just... They could have an inkling that they're listening, you know? That's also true. Maybe that's how they found them, is, like, I don't know, tracing the fucking signal or something, even though they didn't send anything. I don't know. (sighs) Finding the source of, like, the, the connection? I don't know. Is yeah, that but possible? It's, but it's radio frequency. It's not like a. Yeah, but it's like we all. There's also. I feel like the more we go along, the more I'm. I'm seeing that this. This like. Cr- I. I have it in my head that like thousand years of different history, and I'm. I guess I. I'm so convinced that the aliens have some kind of weird fucking technology, but it seems like they just don't. Like the more we go along, it seems like. I mean. I mean, I'm calling them aliens because I'm. I assume they're aliens, but even if they're just demons, even if they're just another form of intelligence on the planet, the. Like, the fact that they don't have crazy technology or, like, it's it's the, the fact that it's so normally real life and human is really taking me up off guard, you know? Well, here's the thing. We had theorized before that whenever the demons came, like, the, it's 2045, but who knows if it's actually 2045 in our time yeah. might have been completely a different world history or it might have been further in the future. Something else might have happened where they started the calendar again. Who knows? But... We had theorized before that when the demons took over, most of the technology that they'd been using at the house was already in place, um, is what we had been talking about before. Mm, right, yeah. So, say those guns had already been made, and the demons don't seem to have any interest in technology. They seem to be, even the, like, guards, because they are demons, and they are, they, they're more of a weapon in of themselves. They might need, they might need, like, a sword or a bow. Yeah. Or something, but they are much more agile, and like those ones that are like dogs, like they're they're much different than yeah. humans. They don't need a gun necessarily. Because yeah, but they still developed that, or like like you said, maybe yeah. I guess where maybe you're going, with, it was already there. Yeah. But then yeah, that's so weird though. Like that's so weird because it's it, like yeah. yeah, it's like it. You know what it is? It's like when um when. It's kind of, I guess this is a, this is part of a greater conversation about like continu about like, uh, fantasy continuity with the real world. Like if you use the 12 month calendar, like January to December mm-hmm. and the weeks and 24 hours a day and stuff like that, like you're, or especially the months and weeks and stuff like that, you're sort of implicitly admitting that Jesus existed in your world and that Christianity is a dominating religion that has, you know, taken over the entire world. If you, if you schedule out your fantasy world in that way, you're immediately accepting that that was a thing. Um, but that's, that, that's like at the extreme end of it. Most people and including me can realize that like, that's just a very easy way for people to understand your date system rather than having them memorize an entire other calendar. Yeah. But you, if you take that further, it gets to the thing of like, how similar is your world to the real world? If you have like, you know, if you mention, if you mention like real life people or, or historical figures, like, or like ancient Rome or things like that, like you're, you're, you, by mentioning that in your story, you're implicitly suggesting uh, or confirming that those things existed in your world. And especially when you're dealing with an alternate history having inventions that that occurred very recently in our real life timeline historically speaking not in the last thousand years but in the last like 50 60 70 um it makes it really uh tenuous to like accept like the 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 logic of your technology when you're estab- when you're going so far to establish all of this other stuff like all the different animals and the trees mm-hmm. and and the the world and everything like that I'm willing to accept it if, if it's just that simple. But like when I see something like that as someone who knows a little bit about guns, not even that much, just having played Call of Duty since I was fucking like 10 years old. Like I know that's the MP5. That's like a super iconic and like well-known weapon has been used in every fucking video shooter video game since the 90s or earlier since the 80s. Like it's so it's such a common weapon that like it's instantly recognizable. So if you're, yeah, that, 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 I guess that's it. I hope that you guys don't, like, get pissed at me for, like, oh, he's picking apart. Who gives a shit what kind of gun it is? It's, like, it's so recognizable. It's just an example of this greater thing that I'm talking about. But if it's as simple as it's just a gun and they just drew a gun, then fuck it, I guess. But it's just interesting to go that far and then to just draw a random gun or a mm-hmm. real-life gun. Anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, I mean, either, like, either way, like, they have TVs. Yeah. Which are, were... Probably yeah, like and, the type of TV they had was definitely made after the after that gun, 
uh, pro- like they they have like relatively not like especially in the house they had like advanced uh that like technology thing where they're like the answers are like yeah, coming out into the But that, that was pen. the only example of like highly uh developed technology that we've seen and those TVs like they could be from anywhere from like the 60s to the to early 2000s maybe. Yeah. Um so it's it's it is really difficult to say um I don't know. It's 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 just it's just these are the kinds of things that I think about and when you're especially here it's maybe it's just that it's a mystery there's like so much that's still mysterious mm-hmm. and I'm looking at every fucking thing for clues I'm looking at every piece of technology when was that what year was this made what what like era of you know uh, technological development was that made do they have like smartphones do they have cell fo- like flip phones do they have just rot- rotary phones the radios are they just like our radios today that are being made or are they like the radios in the 60s or earlier mm-hmm. like you all of these things sort of amalgamate and come together when you're painting a picture of like what is the state of this fictional world especially something with this with such a drastic alternate history and you're right we don't know the actual timeline but to especially uh with the 2000 years it's like post 2000 post our time so it's like post 2021 so to use like why not 1047 it's yeah. 2047 because it's 2021 now so they're yeah, using yeah. that as a way for us to like realize that but then they say oh a thousand years ago it was different i don't know like it's just so anyway i think i've made my point i'm just i'm just trying to and the payphone, it's like, that's obviously like a... I know. The pay, yeah. A payphone is another really good example. A really, sp- very specific It's choice. really specific. That's my point, is, the, is how specific it is. Um, and when you're so specific about other things and showing how different other things are, but to make something so similar... I, I made my point like three times. I'm just making sure that you guys know... I'm not trying to shit on the show. I'm not trying to look for flaws in it. I'm take, I'm take, that's, oh, that's, the, that's my clues. point. Exactly. That's my point. It's like, I'm not, I'm not saying these things to look for flaws or to like pick it apart. I'm looking, I'm accepting the logic of this world and following the conclusions from there. And when my sort of knowledge base conflicts with presumably the author's knowledge base, that's, that's where problems happen. And I'm saying that's just a problem in writing in general. That's my point. I'm not trying to shit on it or like find little things to pick it apart. That's not my point. That's not what I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. That's the whole thing I'm trying to say with all this. I just wanted to look at that phone again. I know last time I was literally like trying to zoom in on the phone to look at it for clues because yeah. it has like 911. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. So and 50 cents. 50 cents. Meaning America. Meaning yeah. the country that was established after the year 1000. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, um, which is... Like literally, last time I was zooming into it, trying to look to see where 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 this phone was from. I was wondering if it had like a city or a yeah. country or anything. I think I could see fifty cents. Yeah, but like, so that's ex- that's another perfect example, and that might just be like a hole in the logic. And that's I'm not trying to find those holes in the logic. I'm accepting that this payphone exists but here. I'm like but I'm trying to think of what that means for the rest of the world. I'm trying to paint a picture of what what else is mm-hmm. out there. And when yeah, you see nine one one, nine eleven. That's an event that like you know like no like nine one yeah like it's just and like you automatically know that you like know that's the emergency number. You see that yeah. everywhere. That's such. A and, basic thing. And but another the, thing is it's it's this is Japanese and this is English writing. There I think that they're just like. The whole aesthetic with all of this is like the pen uses English words. They have English everywhere. It's Let's part be- of the aesthetic because I think like English is just a more like interesting to well, look at thing and sort of makes it seem foreign and uh, exotic and interesting. So to have 50 cents, lo- like all this English writing on it makes it a lot very, more yeah, interesting for I Japanese mean, it viewers. Seems, it seems like the show is like, it seems like the place that they're in was potentially once just North America. Yeah. It, like somewhere in North America in general. Um... And but, I, like, but anyways, it's still just interesting because obviously it was used for a reason, and there's like clear words on there mm-hmm. that mean something to a lot of people. Yeah. Um. And therefore, and like because of the consistencies, um, with the books. Exactly. With, yeah. With how everything works. Everything was so meticulously the, like the, chosen, which is why instead of like we're not. When we're seeing like, oh, that's that kind of gun. Oh, that's this payphone from North America yeah. with nine one one and fifty cents written right on it. Then it's not 
like, oh, look at this fantasy world and they have all these real life things. That's so stupid. It's like, yeah, exactly. it's like looking for the connections of where were they? Okay, we look at this. We find out they're probably in the States somewhere, or at least this phone was from the States. Yeah. Uh, we find out like little things like, oh, this technology, like we've already theorized, all this stuff was probably invented before the demons took yes. over. And, and it gives us a time. It gives us. It, if well, not, then it's a problem with the writing. But I don't think the writing is yeah. bad enough to make that kind of mistake. I'm, I'm, ex I'm uh, entering entering the discussion in good faith that this was a conscious choice on that, the part yeah, of the writer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what makes it more interesting because then there's just so much more to look at in terms of why. Exactly. It's not just oh they used it because it was a payphone and it looked cool. It's yeah. like they definitely did this on purpose at least as far as we know, the writer did added these things in on purpose to create something that it is going yeah, to have meaning. to give us that, the, all, the writing on here is information for us to use in our theories for what's going to happen in the future, yeah. what the what this means for the world, what, wh like, that this specific pay film was developed, that it was developed to take 50 cents for, uh, I guess, a minute of call time in, in this, you know? Like, that it takes 50 cent coins, it takes a half dollar. No, it would take two quarters. I'm sure because I say but it's two one dollar for one dollar. Oh, two minutes for one dollar. Uh, two minutes for one dollar worldwide. My point, my point yeah. is like, yeah, that we're we're taking this. We're we're entering it with good faith. With good faith, we we believe that the author is choosing these things, choosing the MP5, choosing this payphone, choosing these types of TVs. All of this stuff is a conscious choice, not a mistake, because mm -hmm. we believe the we believe in the integrity of the story enough to at least accept that if it's just a lapse in something, then that's kind of shitty. And I think that we deserve to like be kind of weirded out by stuff like that. But I'm not going to go into it with that because I don't want to, frankly, I'd rather, yeah. I'd rather believe that this was a conscious choice because it makes it more fun. And yeah. it's, uh, I think it's just a better way to watch the show because it's more immersive that especially, way. Especially like when it's such a specific choice, like I keep using this payphone as an example, but especially now that we know, because before we were like, it could have just been a regular phone, but it was a payphone. But now it's like, no, it could have literally been a tape recorder. Yeah, but they chose but a payphone. Pay and it seems like the payphone was just to shock us and be like, a payphone? That's fucking weird. Oh, don't answer the payphone. Payphones aren't supposed to ring. That's yeah. the thing. Is like, you aren't supposed to receive a call from a payphone. Other like Hollywood movies have used that trope before. Uh, so it's immediately weird. And it's supposed to weird us out. And that's fine. But like... It seems like a, if if that's if that's really the objective, it seems kind of cheap to do that rather than just ha have the surprise be it's fucking William Minerva. Like you need to that's already surprising and cool enough to have the payphone there to do it instead of just a tape recorder, which makes more logical sense. It it like when you, when I start take, taking things of not like like more critically and like was that a choice? Uh, like, was that a good logical choice to make it a payphone rather than a tape recorder? And, and, but then the question is, like, does it matter? Should we be yeah. focusing that much on this? I think when you're setting up, that's and like that's another really good question. I think should we be focusing on shit like this? Um, I don't know. I think that when you set up a mystery, when you make everything so interesting, like, cause I actually am genuinely interested. I'm literally looking at every vehicle. I'm looking at the fucking writing on this payphone as a clue to, because I'm so interested in, yeah. fi in figuring out this world that I'm taking everything as information. And if, if the author isn't expecting me is writing a mystery and not expecting me to look for those details, then that makes me worry for the future of the story. But, but the, I don't actually worry. Yeah. Cause I, like I said, I'm willing to accept I'm going forward accepting that this writing was on purpose, that this payphone was on purpose, that that gun was on purpose, that everything that's happened up to this point the is TVs, a conscious choice. The the books, choice. the this, the that, everything was on purpose. Um, yeah. It's interesting. But I, I, I like, like, I feel like that's how you know that it's actually good, is that you want to look for details. Yeah, because. Exactly. If we didn't give a shit, why would we come back and look at this phone a million times? Why would I have literally cut out the phone and blown it up and, like, tried to adjust the lighting <laughs> of it to try and see what it said? Because, like, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. And it, hopefully it... Re even if it's... N and, like, with this show, we know that we have you have to pay attention to every little thing or you'll miss it. Yeah. It's like, like that was the biggest thing in season one. It's like, especially while editing season one, 
the amount of things that like we you picked up on a lot of good shit. You obviously famously now guessed the guessed that Ray was Isabella's uh, true born son, like an episode or two before the yeah. actual reveal happened, and that was huge. It was so like it pays to pay attention. That's what that teaches me. Is we up to this point we've been taught been the more you pay attention, lullaby, the more you focus, wasn't. and the more you take seriously, the more you will get out of the show. The more you will learn about the world. Mm-hmm. So like. And it is fun to be surprised, so maybe we're approaching it from the wrong way that way, but... I'm sure we're still missing something, like... I, yeah, like, exactly. There was a million things that we caught, and then a million other things that we didn't catch. Exactly, yeah, like, there were multiple times where, like, between the conversation between Emma and Norman and Emma revealing that that conversation was, we're taking everybody. Yeah. Like, there were so many little things of, like, teasing, and I, I like, I editing, I found them because I was rewatching and I knew, and then there were many times where, like... Like, uh, Lanny and Tom, uh, Toma were like, one of them was like, oh no, not Norman, but we're about to, and then freaking Toma like covers mouth. he's like, shh, and shit like, yeah. just shit like that. Like, we didn't think of it, but the more, if we were yeah. paying more attention, we would, uh, like, The kids being know. super upset by Norman going away, even though they would supposedly not have known. Yeah. So. And maybe it's a blessing and a curse that, like, we think so highly that our that our our bar, our expectations are higher for the amount of, like, thought that goes into all this shit uh, because of, of how incredible season one's, like, mystery and the control of information was and how tight it was. Maybe that's, maybe that's, like, a curse on the second season where, you know... Who knows? Like, yeah. I don't but know. But at the same time, maybe we're also, maybe this was also intentional to make us think that the phone meant something. And then instead there's like sowing seeds of something else yeah. that we don't know about, you know? And the same thing with the mom. Like, is that just throwing us off from like, so, like not? Yeah. Like something else? The thing just... is, I can't tell what they want us to think about her, yeah. you know? Like, I, know. I can't tell if they're, it, it seems like they, they, their intended emotion and like thought they want us to have with her is, is that she's going evil again and she's going after them for one last chance at freedom. But then at the same time, they might be thinking because they set it up so much to the point that it's, that the, it's the, reverse the, the like double reverse thing. Yeah. So it could be either. It's like it's because like, that's exactly what happened to the characters in season one. Is this like thinking one thing? Actually, I was pr- I was working. I was betting on you thinking that. Is, that's why I set this trap. This is the princess bride in that scene where there's the poison in the cup. Exactly. But there's poison in both cups. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's the same thing. It's like I'm counting on you to use reverse psychology so that be, by me but falling into I your reverse psychology <laughs> trap, you think that you got me on the third go around. But actually, you falling for... That was a trap set by me to get it over on you 100% and set up this shit that you don't even see... You didn't even know I was doing. That's... So, like, since I I know that that literally happened last season, I'm going into this thinking, what is the... What is, the, like, the flip-floppy reverse <laughs> psychology version of what they're trying to say right now? Mm-hmm. And that might be too much. I might be, like, reading into things too much. I fucking hope not... Because it's, these just seem like such small, but like, small but big things to include, just like haphazardly. Like, why, why draw that gun? Why draw this payphone? Why put 50 cents? Like, and if I'm not supposed to be asking why, is that a problem with me or is it a problem with the show? Mm -hmm. And I think that's, the answer to that is up for debate, honestly. (laughs) Genuinely, because yeah. like I don't know if I'm supposed to be asking why on that, and also and who I don't, knows I don't know this, if it's fair for me to ask why on that. Who knows if this was just done by the pe- like the writing on there was just done by the people in the show, yeah. trying to look interesting, and it wasn't, even, and it wasn't even the manga. Yeah. Like it's that seems likely to me. That seems the most likely thing for the payphone is that they wanted a, a like a cheap sort of whoa, don't answer the payphone, Emma, and then because it's a payphone and it's ringing. And they wanted it to look interesting and foreign, so they put English writing on it. Yeah. You know? Because that's kind of the whole aesthetic of the whole thing. They, there's English writing everywhere. There's not a lick of Japanese anywhere you look. And that's intentional. And I think it's it's an aesthetic thing. So I think that this is another aesthetic choice rather than a logical one. That's what I genuinely think, but I'm putting that aside and accepting that this payphone means something. <laughs> that the that the fact that there is 50 cents a currency that exists in a country that doesn't exist in this world is on is on this phone. That's a lot of talk about like 
suspension of disbelief for the whole episode. There was more that happened, but I think that pretty much covers where we're at as far as our mm-hmm. review of the show so far. Because everything else was kind of... Also, like, it was so weird when the that other demon thing got shot in the eye and it like... <sighs> that was crazy. That was weird. I don't... Like, it must be something with their eyes is, That's like, what, something uh, to fucking, do with them. Um, Sonju said, mm-hmm. shoot them in the fucking eye. Yeah. That's if you And there's something that, that thing them. had like a million eyes and I we were talking about last time like the more eyes the more like out of control it is or like mm. the more demonic it might be cuz you know the ones who have two eyes seem very normal. Normal, like very human. The ones yeah. that have like eyes in the middle or like in other places they I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. remember what, how many eyes those dog looking guys had, but anyway. I think that's about it. Just know that we respect the show enough to ask these questions. Not, we're not trying to poke fun at it. We're not trying to poke holes in the logic. We're, tr- we're accepting it 100% because we really love it. Yeah. So that's the thing to remember. Hope you guys enjoyed most of all. Hope you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you like Promise Neverland, if you like our reactions, go check out our season one reactions if you're coming here just for this episode. Last episode of season one is coming out uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But I uh, hope you enjoyed most of all. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.